you guys. Welcome back to GSL Code A with Wolf and Artosis. This is going to be the final match of the night. As you can see, it's going to be Young Hua going up against Trust in a PvP. Unfortunately, Fantasy has been eliminated in last place in his group. Had some very interesting games, some very different types of play. Yeah. Would definitely suggest uh, checking out some of these games if you haven't seen them already. Yeah, would definitely recommend. Uh, he's played very different from every Terran we've seen so far in Code A. And also really in Pro League in all of Korea for the last six months. So, yeah. uh, a unique style and people love to see things that are different and unique. Yeah, and it wasn't it wasn't that bad. It, like he played some good games. These are hard players he's against. So, uh, anyways, he's out, and it is time to see what is the last Protoss who will join Kodes. Will it be Young Hall once again, or Trust for the first time? I think it's gonna be Young Hall. I said it from the beginning. I was feeling Young Hall and Stork, and yeah, uh, it's still it, feeling it, man. It's a good choice. It is. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Trust definitely played much worse PvP than Stork did in that match. Yeah. Uh, and then Young Hall versus Stork I actually thought was a pretty good match overall. Pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, like Stork won and he seemed a bit better, but it wasn't like a hugely one-sided match like uh, Stork versus Trust, so this one could be a bit better. Could be. Last best of three of Code A for this year. Let's find out who's going to Code S. Right, in top left, our blue Protoss, getting proxied. Yongha. And his opponent in the bottom right, proxying. CJN to trust. I think it's going to be the Stalker Rush. I believe you're right. When you put it there, I mean, if you're doing Zealots there, it's pretty optimistic. It's a long walking distance to try to make a Zealot Rush kill someone uh, who knows how to deal with it correctly. Yeah. Alright. First gate. Probe count you want with this is 12 or, th or 13? Or is it 14? Because mm. I'm, I'm thinking I'll make, I always get confused on how many probes are on the map in total, how many are actually mining. Yeah. I think you want 14 probes, maybe a total 13 mining. Alright, well he sees this wolf. Well, seeing is only half the solution here. Yeah, that's true. Thing is, that uh, is a real big problem. If you look at how far along both gateways are, I would be so surprised if Trust could win this. Because Young Hua can just mirror what his opponent is doing and have the defender's advantage up a ramp with all his probes there. Yep, that's what he's going to do. And the thing is, he already has extra probes, which means he can more easily defend all of this. Like. The thing is, let's say, like, these gates are within seconds of each other, right? So, by the, the seconds can be accounted for walking up the ramp. Young has three more probes. If it's two stalkers versus two stalkers and three probes, two stalkers and three probes wins every time, as long as your micro is not complete garbage. Yep. So, so, I am feeling this for Young Hwa. Let's see. He's going to have a chrono boosted gateway here. He's going to have more chrono than Young Hwa does by one, because mm -hmm. uh, Young Hwa did chrono one of his probes earlier. Before he scouted this, so um, that's like the only edge he's gonna have here. Wait, did Young Hwan didn't miss a pylon, did he? Uh, no. Okay. He yeah. has his own okay, zealot yeah. too. I'm surprised he put uh, it way. Well, no, I'm not surprised actually. That was the first pylon, I think, right? If he kills the pylon of Young Hwan, that would be a shock, but that's like, I think, the only thing he could try yeah. to go for here. The thing is, he'll make his next pylon right next to that one, I'm sure. Yeah, like, why not? Yeah, you gotta have that. You don't listen. Sometimes you know you're watching control stream, and he only has one pylon powering a building, and it dies, and he loses. Uh, so you don't want to have that. Tournaments here. for so some programmers, I heard. Yeah, occasionally. All right, uh, so his stalker actually some taking some additional hits to start. Yeah. And this is all really coming down to micro right here. Yeah, one gets the better end of it, actually, a lot better. Well, actually, no. Uh, I mean, I was trust. Sorry, sorry. I was looking at the wrong, yeah. wrong. I meant to say trust. The attacker here gets yeah. the better end of it. Certainly does. Oh, my oh goodness. man. That was a huge mistake. Young Hua definitely uh, messing up some micro here. This doesn't mean it's over, though. He needs to get out. Those stalkers are popping. Yeah, he needs to keep these alive. Good target there on those probes. Still more pros for Young Hua. We do have an additional stalker here for Trust right now. But uh, his stalkers are in the deep red, so this is definitely not over yet. Nope. All right. Targeting down here. Actually, his weakened stalkers microing them back. The Zealot comes over. Even the probe tanking some shots here actually works out really well. 
comes out four to three, gets one, oh, and pulls back. Oh, good micro here from Trust. You know, if you're going to do a build like this, you better have godlike micro. You know what? He certainly does. Oh, oh man. Young Hua actually pulling probes at the wrong time as well. Oh, look at that. Pulls the weakened one away, baiting him so hard here. Yeah, he's masterful at it, and oh he's pushing forward God. once again. Going after this. Oh, he actually loses a couple of them. Okay, pro pull time is right now. And it doesn't no. look like it matters. One more shot will do it. Without a doubt, uh, Trust has out microed Young Hua here significantly. Dancing. Dancing, the Stalkers. And that's a 4 to 1 Stalker here. And GG. Wow. Whoa. That's, that's the most painful thing when you scout that and then still lose to it. Uh, I mean. That was some fantastic micro by Trust, but you can see Young Hoi's like, oh my god, am I not going to go to Code S after scouting that, mirroring the build, having the same amount of units, and getting out microed? That's uh, you think a you scary should pull his probes earlier, or yeah, if you have three more probes, you can definitely pull them. Or the way he was running around, I felt like he was trying to get too fancy with the Zealot defense at first, and then his Stalker when it popped out, like. Uh, thing is, trust. Uh, like he pushed in, he thrusted at the right time, and um, you remember that, that remember kind that? of threw Young Hua off. Like his stalker popped out at a, at a weird side, and his units were in the wrong places, and he just microed poorly. Remember what I said earlier? I said like he's gonna have one more chrono boost. Like mm -hmm. that was that one more chrono boost. Yeah, that, that stalker definitely came out like a little bit later. Definitely out. And overgrowth is the map choice here for Young Hua. God, does he look stressed, man. Yeah, he He's is. been in Code S so many times. Usually fails in the round of 32, but, you know, there's a lot more money there. There's a lot more prestige being Code S when you're a teamless player up against one of the most well-funded teams there's ever been in StarCraft history. That's right. Uh, you know, if Trust loses here, he's got a great team to fall back on, a team that made it to the Final Four of Pro League playoffs. This and Young was teamless. Yeah. Once again at Code S, get recruited by a good team. Continue his career. Can he do it? Needs two wins in a row. Their last best of three of the